welcome back friends, followers and transients to another episode of Banished with me, Vapor. Okay, so we're going to move away from this area for a little bit. And we're going to have a look at something else because I don't want to spend three episodes working on this, this area. Um, we do have the pub sort of area here to do. And there's a few little tweaks. I keep saying it, I'm going to probably spend... I mean, I have quite a few days off work this week, but I'm probably going to spend an episode, just a massive time lapse of just like filling in all the final details in certain areas like these and just just having to look through and boxing off anything that I believe needs actually doing just so we can kind of say, yep, that's definitely done. I mean, this place has been vacant for so long. That's having a strange and glitch there when we zoom right out. But this area is coming together quite nicely. I mean, this almost, when you kind of look at it, I, mean, you, I can't change the angle, unfortunately. I do I do like how these houses are so bright and they stand out, but they're completely different to these. But I think these are the style houses that we're going to use in the main town, because there's so many variations of them, and you can put them right next to each other, and I think it will look quite cool. So we'll probably go with those, and they are the um, red ketchup houses, I believe. So as we get up here... And we start working on that. Wow, it's quite an area. There's a lot of space. My concern there is the amount of food we're going to require. Although I can obviously spawn food in. But we might need to think about something else other than just this area. So maybe we need like a, a cattle farm or something like that. Do we have... We have no, we have dairy. But maybe we need um, some cattle and things like that. Just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Uh, obviously we have the dock area over here. Um, this is just the kind of part of it, but this this entire side. So we could have some more traders over there, specifically food traders. I think, did we put some in here? Yes, we did. I mean, I could buy all that if I wanted to, but uh, there is no real need at this stage. I'm quite happy with how it's coming along, though. I don't know how you, you guys are feeling about it. Um, always um, drop me a like if you do like it. And always a comment if you have a suggestion or something to say, because I will probably run with that if if it's something that I think will work. Um, for example, um, Rachel has suggested just putting some small potted plants just in the front here, which I could probably do. I could more than likely use the... I could actually probably do a potted plant. So we've got these little pots here, or even these little little things here. There's, there's, there's loads of options, but we're not going to look at that. I'm kind of tempted to do the beer garden. That's not what I said I was going to do. I'm one of these people that kind of changes my mind at a whim. I didn't know if I was going to work on the military sort of base down here. I mean, this is a huge area. I don't. I think it's too big to be entirely a military base. But there is space to do so. Um... Yeah, it is, it is rather large. We could have a castle down here, I suppose. What about... There's like a palace or something in here, isn't there? Let's have a look. I believe it's under one of the... I suppose we could... It's, it's, a, it's a fancy castle. Let me look at this somewhere where I can actually see it. There we go. It is quite the fancy castle. I mean, what do you think? Should we put this in? In amongst the military sort of stuff? It could be down here. There is... Um, let me go to that for a second. There is some walls. Is it this one? New Medieval Castle. So this doesn't actually give you the castle, but it gives you the walls to go around it. So I didn't mean to do that. And the uh, moat as well, by the looks of it. So we could, we could actually have a full-on castle down here. With military installation. So maybe... Hmm, let me look at this. Would you have the castle here on the corner? I like the idea of like castle walls going around this. Maybe the castle would fit more well in this kind of alcove of the mountain, sort of here. Hmm. I think that's a possibility. I don't actually want to... I was, no, I'm not going to do that in this episode because I want your feedback on that. I think we could combine a castle and military installation. I don't want to use the entire area, but it is, it is completely cut off from the rest of the land, so... It could be the king or the queen of this area, so it could be it could be their land. So we could we could do that, and we could have some potentially some farms and, and, and 
I don't know, maybe some kind of park outside. Um, some carefully uh, grown gardens, if, if you know what I mean. Because the, the there's a lot of royal gardens in this country. Obviously, we have a monarchy, so uh, I'm kind of thinking along those lines. So potentially, yeah, that, I think that's quite a cool idea. But I'd like some uh, feedback on that. In that case, I think we will we will work on this this area here. Um, and then next episode, maybe that or maybe the dock area. So let's just, I'm just going to tidy this up first because it's driving me a little bit crazy. Every time I kind of just kind of swipe past it and I can see that little line, I'm like, oh, really, Vapor? You, just gonna, you, can't, you can't keep ignoring it. You've got to do something about it. And I know I said I'd do this sort of stuff in the time lapse, but it'll take me like a minute just to do it. So I have to, I have to deal with it. Although realistically, I should have probably done it that way. Yeah, you see, this is the problem. I, I get a little bit carried away with myself. And I'm like, ah, maybe, hmm, maybe we should do it this way. And that's what's happening. There we go. And that one is fine. Oh, no, 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 wrong tile. There we go. And I, I kind of need to decorate this as well. So I think that time lapse that I, I mentioned at the beginning is probably going to be a couple of hours worth of work. So the time lapse may go by quicker than usual. So usually I'll do say 40 minutes 45 minutes for a time lapse and then I will up the speed to about 350 times so it, then it drops down to about a, a 15 minute sort of sort of time frame for you to watch but in the past I've done like five six hundred speed <laughs> so I guess um, that one is probably going to be somewhere along there so things will happen a little bit quicker and I hope you guys don't get motion sickness I don't think it always looks too bad um, because I always watch it through it first and think, hey, is that a little bit too much? Um, if it is, I can always cut it up into more than one kind of segment. But I don't want to have like two complete time lapses. And I can actually talk over my time lapse if I really wanted to. So we can play some music in the background and I can talk about what's going on. So there is that possibility. Uh, this area here, I will move eventually. So I'm not too worried about that because there will be um, there will be actual key road there at some point. So that's cool. Okay, almost done. See, I told you it wouldn't take long. It just had to be done. It, it was really, really bothering me. Every time I zoom past, I'm like, ah. I've got some couple of glitches going on here, but I'm not too sure why. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. Okay. So this area, I'm not sure yet. This bridge needs to be replaced with the normal bridge because when that railway is redundant here, isn't it? Yes, it is. But if I take it out, which way around are they going to go? There is a question. So they'll probably, yeah, they'll probably use that bridge or the ones up there. But that links... We've got kind of a there, we got that there. There's no real road coming this way. Does there need to be? Hmm. We could, I suppose. Let's um switch to the right tool. We could have a bridge coming across here and like a, a pathway going that way. Because that one is quite far, and to have one here, there's no real, there's no real path. I mean, I could run a, a path this way. If this was the end of the line, maybe. But we're gonna have some kind of turning in here for the train. I think we're gonna need to build a bridge across here. Okay, so let's go with our usual choice when we're gonna cross a railway, and that's that's the red bricks. So that marks kind of a like a crossing. Although I'd only have a couple of those as those squares, wouldn't I? So maybe something like one either side. So I need to adjust this bit as well. And we are using stone roads, I believe, this one. Ah, there we go. So we're going to need to work on the terrain just a touch there. I'm hoping, actually I'm not sure it will, but 
So that's less adjusted first. I was going to say, I'm hoping the terrain fixes itself there, but you just never know. Let's not take any risks. We'll drop you in there like so, and stone roads. Perfect. Now we could go for a slightly different style bridge here, I suppose. I don't really want to go for a, for a double one. We can flatten terrain tool there, that's quite useful. I didn't know that was there. So if we're coming across the river, if I've lined that up perfectly. We'll soon find out when we draw the bridge, if I've done that right. So what bridge are we going to go for? I do like the covered bridge. It is... Did I not clear that? Let's try that again. It is that. Let's can, oh, cancel. Clear. There we go. Let's try that again. Um, the covered one is quite nice. I think it's quite a wide bridge as well. But the only problem... Yeah... See, this is the problem. Actually, it's three wide. Wait, actually, that would make sense with this, wouldn't it? Okay. Let's, let's, um, let's cancel that for a second. Let's run this road down just a touch more. Although, am I going to have an offshoot? Probably not. It probably will be a dead end here. Because we're going to have the, um, the beer garden and a family sort of area. Okay, ah, oh, it's right on the corner. This is going to be slightly awkward. Hmm. We're going to have to have a bit of a tinker here. I've decided this river's going to going to be devoured, <laughs> for the lack of a better way of putting it. Let's let's do something along these lines. We can. Although I'm supposed to be putting some key wall around here as well, aren't I? So it will get adjusted a little bit anyway. I'm just hoping that we. Oh, they, they are taking it apart. Okay. So realistically, this is. Was it three wide? So we're not going to get this entirely right, I don't think. Yeah, it's a little bit off, isn't it? But I think that doesn't look too bad. We can we can work on that. We can do something with it. Okay. We'll let them roof that piece of road. And we will chuck these up here like so. Perfect. Yeah, this uh, railway bridge is going to have to be moved a little bit. I think. Yeah. We're going to have to uh, change it a touch, but not a problem for right now. We, we can ignore it. I'm guessing the best way of probably dealing with this area is probably making our own thing and doing this. Although, that almost works, doesn't it? The way it's gone like that. Hmm... I wonder if we can fiddle with it a little bit. And then we're going to have some key wall here as well, aren't we? So, for example... Yeah, we are. We are running key wall around here. I can't remember. I say so many things, and you know, you just kind of forget where you're at. Can this go under here without it looking... How does it deal with it? Okay. So I guess it will need to be something like... Probably something like that would look quite good. Right, okay. <laughs> Almost 15 minutes in and not a lot to say for it. Um, you're very conscious of that, I do. I think... What happens if we do... Where's the end road bit? Yeah, that's not going to work very well. This is going to be one of these episodes where you're going to hear my kind of inner thoughts. Um, well, with regards to Banished, anyway. I'm trying to think the best way of going about this. So we've got you like so. I can't see for the... We've got that. So that can be lined up with this. That is that. 
What was it if? Hmm. I almost feel like there's kind of a way to cheat this. I put that in the wrong way around, haven't I? Yeah. I feel like I can probably get away with. I just like a little road coming off here. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking. Does that work? No. Hmm. We rotate you. Bear with me. I can't place that one there for some reason. Oh, it's getting all glitchy. Okay. Let's kind of give up on this uh, little venture here. I can probably just put an end an end road piece in. Go, da, da, and have done with it. Because I'm going to spend so much time fiddling with that, that it's just going to be worthwhile. But it makes more sense to have it kind of like that. So if we're going to go for a kind of a beer garden sort of look, I, li I really, really do like these things. These flowery sort of bushes. So we're going to kind of block off the area a little bit. We can have an entranceway coming in here if we can try and get that roughly in the middle. In fact, let's check the length of that. That's 22. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll roughly be able to get that in the middle. Right, where are we going? We're on this one, and this one, and this one. Is that the length of the one that we're putting in? It is. Perfect. Could that be the main entrance? I think we should have some, some other little entrances elsewhere as well. But if we go with this first... Now this is going to have, I think, um, a few different things in here. We, hmm, I wonder if we should put the swimming pool in here. Maybe we could go with it. Oh, I've, I've got ideas coming into my head now. So initially it was just going to be a beer garden. Now I'm thinking more of like a a recreational area. So a park, a swimming pool, um, a, like a, a pub, restaurant, coffee shop, that sort of stuff. Yeah, we definitely need to put in another entrance somewhere. Maybe about here would be good. Because we don't just want the one, the one entrance. And if this is going to be a dead end, okay, something's bothering it there. We can deal with that in a second. Yeah, that's going to look quite cool, but that means we probably need... Is that lined up? Well, if I keep my mouse straight enough... Okay, so we need to take the end one of those off. That's fine. At least we know where we're going with that. I think this is going to be quite cool. Are you taking all this stuff away? Oh yeah, I'm playing on a slower speed. I've got to remember to spawn in... Um, during an episode spawning like firewood and, and food for the moment because they're going through it so quickly and some stone maybe there we go okay we need to remove you need to remove you and we were going to go with the end road which is you yeah I think that'll work quite nicely I know it's going to be slightly off but I don't feel like there's much I can do about that. What is here that's bothering it? Ah, oh, it's the patch thing. Okay. If we get rid of those as well, then we can continue with our grass or bush thing. Flowery bush. I don't quite know what to call it. Um, although I could, I could turn that up here. Hmm. And have this going around. Oh. Yeah, I suppose we could do. 
Actually, oh, there's another weird glitch going on there. Okay. Wow, my brain is like doing so many different things at once, and I don't think it's really going. It's not really working. We could come up and across. It's going to be a little bit. See, if we had the new version, we could do diagonals, but maybe just come up a little bit and across and then back round. I'm not too sure what we're going to put here yet. I'm thinking of like a railway sidings. So if we come down. And then connect to here and just have some trains parked up. Um, that's kind of what initially was going through my brain. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Okay, let's then um, let's kind of encircle this place so we know what we're doing. Why can I not see that road? There we go. So if we come up here, I don't want really looking too industrial over this side, but I mean I could have it that side, but. I don't know. I'm so many options. So many options. Not enough time. Actually, there's always enough time. Just means that this series is going to become super long. <laughs> Which I didn't anticipate, if I'm honest with you. But I'm, I should know myself by now and how carried away I will get. I'll drop you in there. And there's nothing stopping me putting a park entrance on here. And have an, another way in. So you're going to be somewhere like here, aren't you? Yeah. So if we can keep you straight, put you there. And your. Oh no, I had the original tool selected, and that was the right one. Perfect. Actually, no, that one's a little bit too long. Which now means we can come along here with um, said flowery bush. Oh, it's slightly off. How annoying is that? I'm almost tempted to move that road across one piece. I'm going to. I'm going to move all that along. I'm not going to do it right now, but I'm going to do it because it, it's going to drive me crazy. Because I, I like, if I can, I like to get things centered as much as possible now if I'm rightly thinking I'm not using the ghost version of this this hedge so they should only walk in here realistically speaking um, through the entrances doesn't mean they will but that's kind of how it should <laughs> it should go down but it's uh, like I say not necessarily how the game is going to do it not that's the wrong one. Why did I put you in there? Because I'm an imbecile. Thank you, everybody. I know I don't need reminding. Um, let's take these out. We should probably do the key wall on here as well at some point. So we are going back to... This is just like a hedge episode, isn't it? A hedge and road episode. And Vapor's crazy thoughts. So I've got to remember to stop this one just before, so it'd probably be there, isn't it? And then put the... Wait a minute. That's going to drop to here. I'm going to wipe my... No, 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 no. My brain's gone. It's not working. It's not having any of it. It's it's still early in the morning, as you can probably tell by my slightly nasally um, deeper voice. Because this is what happens. If I talk in the morning without a cup of tea, I've never had a cup of tea. It's shocking. Because I have I have quite a few things to get achieved today, and uh, <laughs> I drag myself out of bed. I'm like, nope, gotta get up. Got things to do. Okay, you're gonna go here. I guess you three wide, you are. One shit. Well, I don't want to place anything in here yet because it will mess with the ground. Right, we've got that one done. So we were moving across by one, I think I said. So that will be you. So we've got one, two, one, two, and then a corner piece. Like that, which means, yep, they're all going to be lined up along here. Which means you are here. Oh, I you hate it when you misclick. I 
can, I, I did hit the, the R key there, I swear I did. <laughs> and the game was like, no, you didn't. I'm going to annoy you. And we're going we're gonna to place that and make you wait for it to be removed. Okay, so we need a corner piece in here. Like this. And three would have worked, but clearly my brain is just not with it. So we're just waiting for you to be gone. I think this is actually probably a really good idea. And actually, I like how that joins on here. At least I'm not walking across that, that um, train bridge. I get this area. I'm not sure what we're going to do in here either. So this is going to be this recreational area. We have some kind of train sidings going on here. We're going to have a track going off this way to go up. But it's, it's coming together quite nicely. This is actually my favourite area so far. I thought this area was going to be, and it is pretty. I do like it. But this area is fast becoming the area that I like the most. Hence me spending so much time on it. Yeah, just tinkering around and, and changing stuff. And I have to kind of stop myself from doing things off camera. Because when I have a little like, spare 10 minutes, sometimes I'm thinking to myself, Ooh, <laughs> I could just jump in and do a few bits. Nobody will notice. But then I'm like, well, that's not fair, is it? I, I shouldn't be doing that. And I talk myself out of it. I think we're on a slower speed, aren't we? Uh -huh, that's why things are not happening very quickly. As you can see, it gets a little bit... I don't know if this is where I'm recording. It may, may not show through on the video, but for me, it's kind of a bit jerky. I couldn't tell you what my frame, um, frames per second are because I, can, I don't have them on the screen, but... I would assume the game is going to start slowing down. Uh, we are getting to that point now because there is a lot more going on. And da -da 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 -da, get you in here. Perfect. And they are using the entrances and exits by the looks of it. But they're zooming along here. This is definitely an area that they wish to use. Uh, bricks. We still need to. We're gonna have to make bricks. I think. I think that's because they're not getting placed anywhere. But it's. I think it's coming together so well. I'm. I'm really happy with um, what we've achieved so far, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, there's a few things I would probably change, but the overall look is, is certainly getting there. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode right here. Thank you very much for watching, but until next time, as always, take care.